Now, when these guys take two years off to write the next season, do they keep you in the loop about what Dr. Evil, Dr. Evil, that's not your name. Dr. What Venture. Dr. Venture is going to be doing? Uh, no, unless I email and say, hey, what's going on? And then now and then I'll get an email saying, oh, yeah, we have this idea for you're going to sing or something. And, but I, no, I'm, I'm not in the loop. I have nothing to do with the writing of the show. And unless I like, e you know, and I, we live in different cities now. So unless I email Jackson and he sends me a little, a little suggestion of something, I'm completely in the dark. <laughs> How would you like to see this character evolve in the next set that they're writing right now? I mean, you, as you say, you don't have a hand in the writing. Do you have any idea what we'll see next, or do you just not even care? I do, well, I, I, I don't know, and I'm always just delightfully surprised to read the scripts and just see where it's going. I mean, I would imagine it'll continue on the sort of trajectory it's been on where Dr. Venture has actually gotten a little more humanized and emotionally nuanced in a way, season to season. Uh, so I'm sure that will continue to happen. It's, he's a difficult character. And it's not like he's necessarily become more sympathetic, it's just that they've done a little more to sh sort of show where he's coming from. His sort of childhood wounds. And <laughs> like it's a cartoon, but he's actually like, all the characters are really sort of nuanced and, and detailed as, uh, as we go on. So, you know. And that's, it's every year when I get scripts for each new season, it just gets more and more interesting and, ex and expansive. So I would imagine it, that will continue to happen. And this year you're kind of bridging the gap between the, the long gap between these seasons with this from the ladle to the grave. And I just heard you say you're just a talking head in this. What are you talking about? Well, this, this from the ladle to the grave is a little sort of behind the music parody. It's like a 15 minute special about uh, how the boys uh, form this band. And uh, so I'm just, a, it's, I'm being interviewed about the band and Dr. Venture is, one thing I can tell you is he's uh, very proud of it and now that there's a camera on him, he's proud to claim that he was aware of Hank's musical talent all along and he's uh, suddenly very supportive, which of course he is not in real life. <laughs> but he's supportive when there's a camera on him.